future belongs to advanced technologies. It's fact. And the role of young generation is to shape it. Their role is to shape it. Our role and our duty is to provide them opportunity to do that. Uh, events like this one today is the best proof that we as a region has potential to do that, to be important player on international scene in the area of advanced technologies. First of all, it puts uh, the city of Niche on the map. Um, it gives it an identity. Every city has to have an identity, whether it's geographical location, um, whether it's famous universities, or it's industry. Uh, the industry of Niche begins and ends with electronics. Key players were participants. Uh, young people or some older people with good ideas and people who are able to execute. Young people starting small companies brimming with ideas. And um, I think that's what's going to put Niche on the map. We are an accelerator. Uh, that's based in Sofia, and we have so far invested in 95 companies. Ten of those are from Serbia. Accelerators give money to startups. In exchange for the investment, uh, we get an equity stake uh, in this company, so we get a share in these companies. We have incremental investment strategies, so we, we do a lot of uh, small bets. So we see what it what works, and uh, in the in and we filter out the failures and the winners, and we continue investing in the winners. The other important part of an accelerator is uh, a co-working space like this one, uh, or similar venue where the teams come together for a three-month program. We put a lot of resources around the startups, like mentors, workshops investors and peer collaboration and all of this helps for the startups to build uh, uh, good products for their customers. Startup is a company built to scale fast. Uh, it's a company that operates under uh, uncertainty with limited resources and the goal is usually to solve a problem in a better way compared to all other current solutions. Out of the 12 teams, even half of them seem ready to go for, uh, to move on to the next stage or funding. Now obviously three were chosen today and I was quite impressed with the diversity. The three that were chosen have nothing to do with each other. They're quite different. It was uh, as if the pool was from a large city of over a million people, but it's, uh, it's niche with 300,000 people. It's quite impressive. The name of the project and the name of the team is Giveaway. Uh, we are starting to develop giveaway application. Actually, 90% of that application is already finished. Uh, so we are hoping that with uh, Eleven's help, we will finish the 10 more percent. Um, the giveaway application is about interacting through the world through giving and receiving. If you have any um, object that you don't need anymore, you just capture the photo of it and post it on our application. In that way you can make somebody else happy and uh, share the things with the world. We're presenting here today a project called Vandalert. It's a cyber defacement detection and early warning uh, service. Vandalert works like a scanner for uh, web websites. He periodically checks websites as the users do and see if, we, if there are any differences in previous scans. So it can tell you what's changed, how much it's changed, and if it is alert or just a simple warning or defacement. The name of our startup is The Lock. It's a smart design lock where keys are replaced by the smartphones. Uh, users can easily with one press on the application, button press, can unlock the door. Also, it, uh, we developed a web-based control panel where you can, with a few clicks, uh, limit or give access to some of your property. We are building Svarog the Awakening, the action RPG game based on Slavic mythology. In our game, there is a unique quest system that our player must resolve um, some kind of puzzles. 
and uh, go into a Slavic mythology environment and uh, complete their quests. Well, I think that everything starts with the team uh, because when you have your idea only on a napkin, the only thing that matters is um, is team going to execute. You have to be able to explain what it is, your product is, in very clear and simple terms. Bullets, one, two, three, four. This is what my project is gonna do. This is how we're gonna start. These are the milestones. And it's gonna take this long until we're ready to bring it to market. Or until I can prove to you that my idea is more of an idea, more than an idea, but it's also a business. Pitching at competitions like that is not the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to have a product and to have happy customers. Uh, what, what is missing usually in, in, in teams in throughout the region, it's not only uh, here is uh, too much focus on the product itself rather than on the customer needs. So my best advice for them is go back and talk to your customers and see what is actually their problem and is, and is this the problem that you are solving? We don't have one winner uh, today, uh, but we actually uh, decided that uh, we can uh, give at least what we are giving to three teams, uh, which is basically a, a fast track for our selection process. And we'll explain to the teams what this means afterwards, but basically they're invited to the final round. I'm very happy to say that uh, the first team is actually a part of the NIC, and the NICAP uh, cluster. It's uh, Van der Lord. Uh, so uh, so uh, the, other, uh, the other team is completely different, uh, our, uh, and it's giveaway. Don't forget to give away. Uh, their track record, and the team that they have, and what uh, they plan to achieve. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, uh, just to say that their team is also coming from Belgrade. They have great uh, mentors from Niche. Uh, so it's uh, Svarok. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, everybody that pitched, uh, great job, guys. Great teams. Uh, keep working on uh, the projects that you have. Uh, we, we hope to uh, see you all either this time around or next time around. The best thing you can do in life is fail. Everybody wants to be a success. Everybody wants to make a lot of money. The dirty little secret is most people who are successful had a very hard life. Those that were not given things on a silver platter they failed many times. Unfortunately, we live and work in a society here in Serbia and the Balkans where people don't like to fail because they lose face. This is very bad. We need to encourage young people to go out there and fail and feel good about failure and learn from it. I've been part of the building of the community in Sofia for the last 15 years. So the most important thing is that uh, there are more places like that where people could meet physically and they could collaborate. So because uh, uh, in, in this digital age we have all different ways of communication uh, but the most important thing which is lacking is that uh, places where people could, uh, could interact, they could exchange ideas and they could work together on different, on different problems or products or whatever. We are a fund and we invest in startups, so we are 12 million funds, so that's what we are on the face of it. Uh, however, what we are trying to build is actually a community around uh, what we believe in and what we believe is, is that we, by investing in early stage startups we can find the next generation of entrepreneurs who can uh, be the leaders of tomorrow. We were the first team from Serbia to join Eleven. Uh, there are lots of benefits that, that we gained. One of them is definitely access to a network of business angels and VCs. Uh, Eleven is really interesting accelerator because they are a hybrid, hybrid between a classical accelerator and an early stage VC, meaning that they usually give you more money than other accelerators. 
uh, that helped us with a longer runway, which again helped us to, to achieve our goals. And thanks to this, today we are changing the way how veterinarians are managing their practices and we have clients in three continents. We are going to have very well established middle-sized IT companies that came from these little startups. Niche will regain its prominence as the center of the electronics industry for former Yugoslavia and probably the Balkans um, for geographic reasons but mainly for human resource reasons. Uh, these young people here are really good and um, they're proving it now every day. Mm -hmm.